Okay, we're told the length of one side of a square is 13 feet. So sketching this out, right, we have a little square here, let's say, and we're told each side is 13 feet, okay. They want to know what is the length and nearest and to the nearest foot of the diagonal of the square. So you can see almost right away that this is going to be a right triangle problem, right? These angles in, in squares are right angles, and these are right triangles. What's nice, what's nice about these right triangles is they're, they're isosceles, so they're 45, 45, 90 triangles. That, you know that because these two angles are opposite two equal sides in a square, and if you have two angles opposite two equal sides, the angles are also equal. So a, a nice shortcut, of course, is that in this type of triangle, the hypotenuse is just going to be the side of the leg times the square root of 2. So that's your answer, right? But we have to round to the nearest square foot, and you can always see that the answer has to be 18, but we'll, we'll come back to that in a moment. Let's just prove that the answer should be 13 times the square root of 2. The Pythagorean theorem says if you square the legs individually and then add them up, a squared plus b squared, you get the hypotenuse squared. So here that would mean, excuse me, 13 squared plus 13 squared would have to equal our hypotenuse squared. 13 squared is 169. We're adding that twice to get c squared. 100 plus 100 is 200. Plus 60 plus 60 is 320. Plus 18 is 338. Right? And that equals c squared. But we want to know not what c squared is, but the length of c. So on our graphing calculator here, just to speed this up a little bit, right, we take the square root of 338. And here, right, I do 338, raise it to the 0.5 power, which is the same thing as square root, and we get 18.38477. So you can see it's pretty close to 18. Now, if you didn't have the calculator here, you could um, write that c equals the square root of 330. Eight and try and simplify this in radical form by using prime factorization. I'll just show that for fun. Um, 338, right, is equal to what? Well, it's equal to 2 times, well, 2 times 150 is 300, and 2 times uh, 19 is 38. So it, it's equal to 168, right? Oh, excuse me, 169 times 2. And you can just take, check that, you know, uh, 2 times 1 is 160 is 320, uh, plus 2 times 9 is 18, that's 338. And uh, 169 is equal to 13 times 13. So we found the three prime numbers that multiply to get 338. What does that mean? Well, uh, that means that the square root of 338 is equal to the square root of 2 times the square root of 13 uh, times 13. What's the square root of 13 times 13? Well, that's just going to be 13, right? And 13 times the square root of 2. So um, that equals C. Now, how did I know that 13 times the square root of 2 has to be 18 and, and no other choice here? Well, um, the square root of 2 is about 1.41 1 1 um, and so forth. So it's it's a little bit less than 1.5. So you're, you're thinking of 1 and a half times 13. Now a half of 13 is 6.5, right? Um, but we're, we're adding less than that. So it's pretty, pretty close, right, to 13 plus about 4 or 5, right? So that, that's 18. 19 is too high. And you can see on the graphing calculator here that 18.38, you would round down because 0.3, that, that, that digit is less than 5, so you could round the whole number down. I hope that helped.